Hi, so here we have my 250 watt uh, Baird, B-A-I-R-D, solar panel that's shattered. It's got two spots that were hit. So here you can see um, bottom right hand corner, sorry, bottom left is not painted with the clear lacquer, the rust-oleum, crystal clear. And the other bits are um, sprayed on. So you can see that the crazing there, um, the, p the panel is outputting about 55 watts. So um, just put this on, did a quick test, and I got it up to 65 in um, not bright sunlight. So it is helping. Um, this stuff's supposed to be anti yellow, and I've sort of looked and researched it a bit. And um, lacquer kind of like seems to be a good one to go for. Um, there's, there's different things you can use epoxy resin um, and also polyurethane varnish. Um, it's not like a, it's not going to last forever, um, but it was £25 panel, so I don't really care if it lasts um, a year um, or not. But um, yeah, good experiment, really. So there you can see that was the, like the first coat. I ran out of the um, rust oleum, so the corner hasn't been done. Um, but the two fracture points, um, they got um, done. So um, made sure the um, edges are all covered properly as well to stop any water ingress. So um, yeah, that was it. It didn't take too long to dry. I left it out. Again, you can see the um, bottom left-hand corner. Um, that bit hasn't been done. So yeah, that's the stuff I used. Um, Rust-Oleum Crystal Clear, uh, which as far as I know is a lacquer, um, anti-yellow, or sorry, non-yellow in, um, durable. So yeah, I've used this sort of stuff before on um, car headlights that go yellow and you kind of like sand them down and then use this stuff um, to stop the um, UV from uh, turning it back to yellow again. So um, yeah, face mask, gloves, and um, not a windy day, and got spraying. So um, yeah, quite happy with that result so far. Um, obviously the, the, the cracks are all there, but the panels, um, when they shatter, they sort of bend slightly. It loses all its strength. Um, it's a bit like laminate, really. The glass is stuck onto the, the panel. Um, so spraying it all again, strengthen the panel, it's gone stiff and obviously you don't get the splinters coming out. You need to wear gloves when you handle these panels that um, have shattered because although the, mi the big bits hold on, you get the little splints coming off. So this was, uh, let's have a look here, I do the next day and got another can. Um, the other can I had was only half a can, um, or three quarters I should say. So I've got the new can today, finished off spraying the bit I hadn't done which is here just whacking it on like a bad sprayer and then just continue spraying that all over the panel evenly if possible. Um, the polyurethane I didn't use um, in the end, um, I decided to go for this different approach. So yeah you can see the crazing, uh, this is in my shed at the moment, they're the two um, pop bits that got smashed so rubbing your finger over it, it it's just got the um, clear coat so it doesn't hurt at all, it's, um, it's fine. So that panel's um, done now. So um, I'll be testing again just to see the output. Hope you like the video, take care, bye.